Now, residents of the border town of Aflao in the Ketu South municipality of the Volta region are protesting what they say is the refusal of government to open land borders for over a year. President Ekufuado announced the closure of the country's land and sea borders in March last year in response to the COVID-19 pandemic in the country. Ketu South MP Jifa Gomashi is leading the protests themed Open Our Land Borders Now. According to her, marriages of her constituents are collapsing with people committing suicides due to hardships associated with the closure. Now, Foga Nukunu is the former assembly member of the Duta, uh, which is one of the affected communities. He joins us via phone. Um, Mr. Nukunu, why did you choose to go on this demonstration? Please come again. Why did you decide to embark on this demonstration? Okay, we embarked on the demonstration because of the effect the closure of the border is having on we, the border residents. And I can give you some of the effects. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The first one is the astronomical rise in the price of goods and services, especially the food products. You know, we share border with the national capital of Togo, Lomi. So most of our food items are bought in Togo. But with the closure of the border, it is very difficult to go and buy food items from Togo. Because of that, it is becoming very difficult for the people of Aflau to survive. Another reason is that because we are sharing border with the national capital of Togo, most of the artisans who cross the border to go and work, they no longer have work to do, and they have to start. And if we come to the border, the clearing agents, who, uh, the transport owners, are all complaining. All the restaurants at the border side are closed because there are no customers who can come and patronize those places. So these are some of the challenges we are facing. Mm. Um, we understand that there are a lot of challenges there, but if you compare that to the risk that we are posing in terms of the COVID-19 pandemic, and you know how that could affect the very lives of these people. Isn't it a risk worth, isn't it a sacrifice worth making? Oh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, if you look at the airport, for example, a lot of people are traveling through the Kotoka International Airport to Ghana and outside Ghana. So we believe that we and the land borders will also be given the opportunity right. to cross for our commercial activity. 
And what is very annoying is that now going out and coming inside has been commercialized. So you see immigration officers at the border uh, taking money from people who can pay. And most of us at the border communities, we cannot pay. If you look at where I come from, my house is just 120 meters from the main Ghana Togo border. So most of our family members stay at the other side. Sometimes we have to go and eat at the other side and come back to Ghana to sleep. I believe a lot of people have been saying that people will think it's a joke. If you come to my place, you'll see that there are people who cross the border to go and eat with their family members and come back to Ghana to sleep. And crossing the border has impacted very negatively. Okay. okay. So these are realities. They should just open the border and put in place mechanisms where people who are entering should wear the mask, they should wash their hands. We have uh, recognized entry points, and I think if they do that, it can help us a lot. Thank you very much for joining yeah. us.